Today was day two of the Grid Edge Summit, and the focus was on e-mobility. So everything to do with Siemens Smart Infrastructure's uh, solutions for the Grid Edge around commercial and residential electric vehicle charging. So my key takeaways, planning, technology implications, and it's IoT. Planning, following on from yesterday, they got into a real gory level of detail on the what, the when, the how of actually deploying commercial electric vehicle charging, say for a bus depot, down into the gory details. How much space do you need? What do you need to think about? What type of charger are you connecting from the side, from the top, from whatever? So they got into, they made it real. They got into the gory details. Um, and if you're looking at deploying residential uh, on a street for electric vehicle charging, well, the whole socioeconomic factors you need to take in into the planning in terms of what's the usage profile going to be like. In terms of technology, they went through their entire range of both commercial and residential uh, chargers, and obviously AC, DC, different uh, amounts of charge that they deliver and what you're trying to charge. But they had some great anecdotes in, in, in making it real. And what I mean by that was they were talking about if you have a bus depot today, and it's, say, got 100 buses, they're all diesel. Well, it's probably got an electric grid connection that brings in about 100 kilowatts of power. If you want to bring in 100 electric buses and charge them all at the same time, you need about 10 megawatts of power coming in that grid connection. That's a whole different level of copper wire. And you may not be able to get it there. You might be behind a poor grid connection. So that's where you need to start looking at, can I have local energy storage and batteries or whatever? Can I generate any power locally? Or how do I schedule it? So that was quite fascinating. Again, it was kind of making it real. So from a technology point of view, it was like, ah, okay, that's, that's how it works. The third one was amount, the amount of software. It's an IoT play. It's more and more devices connected together, all talking to each other. It's IoT, IoT on steroids. And my new word for the day, pantograph. If you don't know what it is, look it up. Anyway, on to day three.